This week on Vancouver Real, we have blog, social media, and internet marketing expert, the Daddy Blogger, aka Ricky Shetty. There, um, but but you know how the hierarchy of needs, the Maslow. Mm-hmm. If our, our felt needs aren't met, you know the financial need, the security need, a uh, need for love, etc. We can't really go up that ladder. And I think uh, other cultures in like Africa or Asia, they haven't met those felt needs: security, safety, food, water, right? But if we can fel- meet those needs, then we can all basically uh, do what we're meant to do, totally. which is live out a passion fully, completely, totally. Right my faith so i look at it as seven f so faith first family second finances third fitness fourth focus fun and future uh th- those are my core values really cool so. yeah i look at it like almost like there's two type of media there's the traditional media mm-hmm. which is the radio the print the tv etc and now there's the new media which is the uh, the blogs the podcast the video blogs right so i think uh, the the new media is almost like uh, becoming even more influential like for example when there's a big news breaking story i don't go to cnn or i don't go to nbc i go to twitter yeah. i'm just like okay people on twitter are going to be more active they're going to be uh, tweeting right away where cnn they're going to send a reporter down there they're going to send a cameraman down there then they got to uh, live broadcast Broadcaster, right? So it's almost like Twitter is a, a better way to find out about mainstream news rather than traditional news, which is shocking. Or I can do, you know, there's so many different options. You can open up an e commerce store, you can open up a membership site. So there's so many different internet marketing tools, and that's what I'm going to be teaching in my next conference. Cool. Uh, but the one before that is Blog Mastery. It's coming up on April 25th, 26th, and it's a two day event, and it's uh, open to anyone. And this is what I want to say too it's not just for bloggers, it's for any business owners who want to leverage a blog blog to market the business. So I look at uh, blogging as multiply beneficial. Um, so the SEO benefits, the no like and trust benefits, the Google ranking. Um, yeah, and it basically it's evergreen as well. So that blog post I did about float house, it still gets me hits every now and then. People will like find it on the internet and they'll, they'll click on it, right? So it's just like this evergreen long-term effect out there and I ask that question I asked that in my conference but uh, I would say um, you know social media is uh, it's not going anywhere right no. it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, there's all these issues with privacy and all that right so a lot of people don't like the fact that Facebook owns their content so I think that's becoming an issue I think uh, maybe in the future there'll be more main, uh, social media platforms that they don't own our content the users own it I, I see that uh, conversation becoming more and more prevalent in the social media dialogue the mm-hmm. privacy uh, uh, who owns the content is it the user or is it the platform? Same with MySpace. We thought that was the king of the the king of the social media. But then all of a sudden, I think um, MySpace didn't adapt. There's this whole saying, adapt or die. Kodak, you remember that company? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kodak was huge, but they didn't adapt to digital, right? They had the film and they didn't adapt. Whereas all the other companies, were, they, they realized digital is the next thing, not film. So Kodak ended up going bankrupt and laying off employees and all that, which was shocking. But uh, a lot of people don't know those struggles. So I think uh, if we uh, share those struggles, uh, people who are just starting in business, they realize that it takes, it takes failure to get to success. And fail fast, fail quickly, and then the success will c- come quicker too, right?